don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, I've got some interesting news for you. The future of Coach Kusiapia has been declared. He will remain as coach. I'll give you more details on that and the reasons why. And also, Mubra Kwakasu looks like he's heading out of Deportivo Alaves. Yes, the latest on that as well will be given to you. And Kevin Prince Wating has finally completed his move to Fiorentina and he had his first training session with them. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I'll advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, if you have been following this channel, you would know yesterday I released a video about the President of the Republic of Ghana having a crunch meeting with Ghana coach Kwesi Apia. The result of that meeting have come out but in essence the meeting was to decide the future of the Ghana Black Stars coach who has been under fire for a very long time after the poor performance at the AFCON 2019. Many expected Ghana to go all the way and possibly clinch the trophy and then a 40 year heading into a 40 year trophy drought and unfortunately it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be for the Black Stars. They were knocked out in the round of 16 and many were calling for the head of coach Kwesia Pia. Finally, Black Stars flew back from Egypt. Kwesi Apia had a crunch meeting with the President of the Republic of Ghana and the result of that meeting is that Coach Kwesi Apia will remain as head coach of the Black Stars for the foreseeable future. President Akufuado and his government prefer a local coach to a foreigner to manage the Black Stars in order to maintain a succession plan. And strong indications are that current coach James Kwesi Apia will be maintained. Kosia Pia arrived at the Jubilee House seat of government alone on Tuesday and held a closed door meeting with the president. Jubilee House unimpeachable sources revealed that the discussion was centered on the coach's long-term future with the national team following the country's calamitous campaign in Egypt. The former Asante Kotoko defender's future has become a subtopic of discussion following Ghana's early exit from the AFCON 2019. Remember, this is Ghana's worst performance since 2006 in the AFCON. And now, while some Ghanaians want him out, others, including influential people of the new patriotic party, hold that the coach can't be blamed for the team's poor performance in Egypt. Apia was offered a new deal by the Normalization Committee following the expiration of his initial two-year contract. He has four months left on his contract as head coach of the Black Stars. However, in the face of immense public condemnation, the President's Sports Ministry and the Ghana Football Association are said to have consented to hand him a long-term contract, despite a poor showing at the AFCON. As I said, it's further established by close sources that the, Akuf, that the Akufado led government has no interest in putting pressure on the coach, but will rather provide the necessary mechanism to facilitate his role in achieving the nation's quest. Now, Ghana's African Cup of Nations four titles have been won by local coaches such as Charles Kumi Jemfi, who became the first coach to win the African Cup of Nations on three occasions making him the most outstanding coach to have controlled the dugout of the Black Stars over the years. That was in 1963, 1965, 1982. Osam Dodu and the late E.K. Afreni also brought Ghana, Black, Ghana back into the pinnacle of African football when they guided them to win the African Cup of Nations in 1978. So the reasons why we will be seeing more of coach Kwesia Piade stated and it's quite interesting guys let me know your thoughts in the comments box and your thoughts on the the decision that came out of that crunch meeting with the president of the republic of ghana he is going to stay we need a local coach to lead us to glory and that is the aim of the maintenance of coach Kwesia Pia. Your thoughts are welcome. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box concerning this. Coach Kwesia Pia will be staying as the head coach of the Ghana Black Stars moving forward. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments box. A lot of you might not be happy about that, but that is the latest. That is the news. That is the decision that has been taken and officially it will be made public pretty, pretty soon. But that is what is coming from reputable sources that Coach Kwesia Pia will be given a long-term contract he'll be given the necessary facilities that will help him 
do better with the national team. I, I, I personally feel that what the coach needs is players who play consistently for their club and so many other factors. But growing juvenile football is also another step that can be taken by the government to make football much more interesting for the young ones there are so many talented players there is no avenue the system doesn't favor them the system doesn't help them the system doesn't support them and hopefully the government will realize that and put necessary systems in place to make that possible to get us talent for the national team and for the other junior national teams so that is the latest on coach Bissapia. he will be maintained as the Ghana Black Stars goes moving forward into the World Cup qualifiers and AFCON 2021 qualifiers. I move on to my next story and about Ghanaian player Mubarak Wakasu. Now Mubarak Wakasu is with Deportivo Alaves in Spain. He has been there for a while now. My reports emerging from there says he leave the club. Yes, that's the latest coming on from Mubarak Wakasu's camp. He says the Ghanaian midfielder Mubarak Wakasu, who had an stellar performance at the AFCON 2019, despite uh, an elimination in the round of 16 by Tunisia, he was actually the man of the match and was crest falling and disappointed when we were knocked out. He was in tears bitterly following that exit it says he will exit spanish la liga side deportivo alaves before the summer window ends now according to reports in spain marcasu who is 29 is not in the plans of alaves head coach Asie garitano and it's likely he will be asked to search for office elsewhere now the reports also indicate that the sporting director of alaves will communicate to the ghana international of the club's decision in the coming days and he will be allowed to search for offers elsewhere. Alaves has also set to release some players especially in the midfield and Wakasu is part of those players set to leave the club. Now the former Espanol player has been linked to Hertafe in the past weeks. Wakasu in the 2018-2019 season made 29 appearances and scored a goal and made an assist and he scored that goal in the final day of the La Liga season and it's like Alaves want to offload him and Wakasu has to look elsewhere. Same situation with Andre Ayu who is currently looking for a club. Swansea set to offload Andre Ayu. Wakasu set to leave Deportivo Alaves. Where do you think he would suit better? Where do you think should be Wakasu's next destination? Any thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But Wakasu is about to leave Deportivo Alaves. That's according to reports. They want to offload him. Hopefully, he gets a better club and more playing time. He's an excellent player. He showed that in the AFCON, any team would be lucky to have him. Any team would be happy to have him. So, that's the latest on Deportivo Alaves and Ghanaian international Mubora Wakasu. To my final story, and it's about Kevin. Prince Boateng. Yes, yesterday I brought you a story on Kevin Prince Boateng, eminent move from Sassuolo to Fiorentina. He had a loan stint with FC Barcelona earlier this year in January when he moved there from Sassuolo and it looked like he would be going back to Sassuolo after he was unable to impress in Barcelona and secure a permanent move. Now reports yesterday came out that Kevin Prince Boateng has secured a move to Fiorentina. Tina. Yes, so he has secured a move to Fiorentina and yesterday the deal was completed. He signed and even trained with his teammates for the very first time. Now the story says here that official, it's official, Kevin Prince Boateng has completed his move to Fiorentina from Sassuolo for a fee of around 1 million euros ahead of the upcoming Serie A season. Now the 32 year old signed a two year contract after completing his mandatory medical on Wednesday. Now the former AC Milan and Schalke midfielder has joined Viola following a torrid six month spell at FC Barcelona. He struggled to get playing time and Esto Verde didn't look confident in the Ghanaian and he had to look elsewhere and he has and he, he's happily with Fiorentina. Hopefully things will be on the app from now onwards. Now the midfielder managed just four appearances for the Catalan Giants featuring in three La Liga matches and the Copa del Rey. So you can see here in your pictures Kevin Prince Boateng in his Fiorentina jersey getting prepped up and hyped up for his first ever training session which he had yesterday as well. He took part in 
began his incorporation into the Fiorentina setup. The striker joined his teammates for training just hours after passing his medical. He arrived, the Ghanaian arrived in Florence on Wednesday morning to finalize his 1 million euro transfer from Sassuolo. He put pen to paper on a two-year contract that I said he will be with the club till 2021. Upon completion of necessary formalities, the 32-year-old was trade thrown into action after changing into his new kit. The former AC Milan star became the first signing of Rocco Comiso era. So Kevin Prince Martin, things are looking on the app for him. He has signed a new deal with Fiorentina. How would you think he will do in Fiorentina? Barcelona, we all know how that went. Unfortunately, he could not get enough playing time as much as he would have wanted. But this is a new chapter in the life of Kevin Prince Poiting. What do you think? How do you think it'll end for him? Any chance he might get back into the Ghana Black Star squad? Hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. But Coach Kwesi Apia, speaking of Black Stars, has been maintained as the head coach of the Ghana Black Stars. A local coach is what the country wants. The government wants to support him to get the necessary facilities for him to perform better and also i've been talking to you about mubara Kakasu's probable move out of deportivo alaves and kevin prince watting straight into the free after completing a two-year move from sassuolo to fiorentina your thoughts in the comments box are welcome on all these three stories i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day